In this video, I'll show you how to perform what-if scenarios in any logistics. We'll consider a South Korean supply chain with smartphone and tablet factories located in Cheongnam and Wanju. These factories fulfill orders placed by customers from the 40 largest cities in the country through the Cheongnam C distribution center. They plan to start selling new models of the devices and expect to hold 1% of the smartphone's market share and 0.5% of the tablet's market share. Let's check out the scenario data, which includes distribution center and factories, raw materials supplier, customers and their locations, groups of objects, information about finished goods and raw materials. They're divided into groups, periodic demand for each customer, Inventory replenishment for supply chain facilities is regulated by its inventory policy defined in the inventory table. For a DC, the required inventory is replenished by ordering the necessary product from a source in accordance with the sourcing policy. For a factory, the required inventory is replenished by producing the necessary product in accordance with the production policy. Bills of materials. In this table, Users can specify a list of components and the quantities needed to produce the end product. Paths connect location points within the supply chain by the specific vehicle type. Facility expenses. Any logistics allows users to extend scenarios with additional data using external tables. The production process is comprised of two steps, assembly, three minutes, and packaging, five minutes. Each factory has three production lines with different capacities. There are two assembly lines, one line per product type, and one packing line, processing all types of products. The goal of the experiment is to estimate the capability to satisfy the daily production plan. Let's run the experiment and analyze the results. Any logistics is seamlessly integrated with any logic professional. This means that users can modify any any logistics supply chain element in any logic professional. Here you can see the production process dynamic inside four walls. The results are available in the dashboard below the experiments view in the form of statistics distributed through the tabs on the left. Each tab and statistic are created by the user. As you can see, only the Chaonan factory can satisfy a production plan and it affects customer service level. Since there's just one packaging line for both products at each factory, the packaging process requires more time. The production load is evenly distributed between the two factories, but the Wanju packing line capacity is less than the Chaonan factory. We decided to increase the packaging line capacity at the Wanju factory to see if it would help improve the processing time. New equipment will lead to additional costs. As production costs increase, we need to change their value in the production table. Also, there will be new purchase costs. Let's define them as initial costs. To consider the corresponding value, we need to set the Wanju factory as initially closed and change its state. As we add additional costs, we need to display this on the dashboard. Let's run the experiment once again to see the differences in the results. We want to compare scenarios based on the following statistics. Products produced, profit and loss statement, and service level. As you can see, profit has fallen due to additional production costs, despite revenue growth. On the other hand, we satisfied the daily production plan and fulfilled customers with all ordered products. Any Logistics provides users with a flexible, data-focused, what-if scenario testing platform. What-if analysis helps in making decisions in complex trade-off situations. It allows users to look at the supply chain in dynamics from very different angles. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to use any logistics to solve your supply chain challenges, please feel free to contact us by email.